sides in last night's semi-final. While England made their first ever final, Denmark fell just short of that tournament win back in Euro 92, but they performed, well, exceptionally after Christian Eriksen suffered a cardiac arrest in that opening game. Uh, we spoke to them both yesterday. Uh, England fan Billy Grant and uh, Brentford's Danish director of football, Rasmus Ankerson, uh, joining us once again in the programme. Um, look, a, a very good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is it night? Is it morning? I've got no idea. I pretty, I pretty <laughs> much haven't slept to be gone you. <laughs> well, well uh, oh, Rasmus, dear. I hope you understand. We're going to start with we're going to start with Billy today. And just a reminder, Billy, I don't know if you've actually had any sleep, how the evening went for you, but you're live on Sky News, so please do not swear. Uh, just tell us how are you okay. feeling. At the moment, I'm feeling like I can see my eyes, the old matchsticks in the eyes, and I'm I'm, I'm feeling pretty tired actually. I'm actually you can see I'm still here at Wembley. I'm waiting to buy Rasmus that that beer actually after us beating him yesterday. Um, it was fantastic. We were out till, I don't know, four or five o'clock in the morning in a, an establishment around the corner. England fans still drinking away. It was really, really good. Had a fantastic night. But last night in the stadium, it was good, but it was tense. I mean, I've, like I said, I've been to 15 tournaments and I've been waiting for this moment. And every time England always fluff it, Italian 90, Euro 96, Russia, you know, a few years ago, always, always like close but no cigar. However, this time they actually got themselves over the line. Fair play to Denmark. I've got so much respect for Denmark. I love their team. I love their fans. I love, you know, everything about Denmark. And in a way, it would have been wonderful if the both of us were in the final, but it didn't work out that way. They gave us a great great game. They pushed us all the way to the edge. But this time, the guys, they actually did it and they got over the line and it feels so good. Uh, well, look, congratulations, Billy. We've got to give commiserations um, uh, to you, Rasmus, but you can't be anything other but proud uh, of the way that the team played, particularly given what, what, what happened to Ericsson? Definitely, it was. Uh, it's been a it's been a roller coaster emotionally for for the Danish team. Uh, this tournament, I think they've showed a, 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 an amazing character, and um, and and to come to the semi final is a it's a huge achievement that they, that they and the whole country can be very proud of. Um, but the Last night it was uh, it, we were up against a good team. I mean, uh, England is a very good team, and they will. I'll be cheering cheering them on in the final. I think it was a deserved win. Um, so, um, yeah, and I'm pleased to see that Billy still got his hat on because I I, 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 I was concerned he would have lost that uh, during the celebrations there. Yeah, um, that's right. This this listen, Rasmus. I've left this hat in Russia. And it came back to me via Poland as well. So this hat is going absolutely nowhere. It is my lucky hat. And I'm going to keep the fingers crossed that actually it'll bring us a little bit of luck on Sunday against the Italians, like, you know? Uh, Billy, I mean, you mentioned, you mentioned yeah. luck there. And let's, let's be absolutely fair. You know, no football team gets to the final of a major tournament without a little bit of luck. But, you know, none other than the Chancellor of the Exchequer this morning described the penalty decision last night as a bit soft. I'm wondering what you think. OK, I'm going to have a get-out clause here. We were at the other end. All we did is that we saw him go down, we put our hands up and we appealed for it. Also, there is VAR. I mean, as Rasmus knows, myself and Rasmus, we're not used to VAR because we've been in the championship for ages, being Brentford fans, you know. So we're not used to VAR. So we're sitting there looking at the screen thinking, is it, is it not, is it not? But listen, you've got to go down to the referees. I think the Danish player, if he touched the player inside the area, you know, you've got to realise that there's going to be some sort of danger there. And, and the decision went our way. But to be fair as well, and like I said to you, look, they've done really well, Denmark. But, you know, I think that they were, hold, they were holding on a little bit there. And, you know, technically, we sh probably should have scored one, maybe a couple of goals. You know, um, um, Smichael was absolutely brilliant in goal. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. And he kept them in the game as well. So, you know, at the end of the day, I said, it's all about luck, a little bit of luck. And luck went our way, whether or not it was a penalty or not, that doesn't really matter. We've had so many go against us in the years. It's nice to have one go your, your way for once. Uh, Rasmus, as, as the boys kind of pack up their stuff and, and, and prepare to head home, I mean, as, as we were just hearing, you had Schmeichel, your man of the match last night. For many people, Denmark was their, uh, their, their second team. You know, there are those of us who can only dream about being in the semi-finals uh, of the Euros or indeed the World Cup. I mean, the, the country must be exceptionally proud of them. Very, very proud. And I think that um, it breeds a lot of optimism for, for the next few years. We got a World Cup just around the corner and, uh, and I'm sure these boys will be, be ready to uh, surprise a few people again. 
Um, Billy, I've got to give you the last word. You've got 10 seconds. Italy on Sunday. Scoreline prediction. You did well in predicting the win last night. So I, I don't want to be dragged into this, but all I say, we're in the final now. We've only let in one goal, a brilliant free, free kick from Denmark as well. All I'll say to you is that if we keep doing what we're doing, then it's 100% possible that we could do that. And I've seen us lose to Italy so many times. Well, actually, not that many times. We haven't played that, that many times in competitive tournaments. But I remember it was in Euro 2012 that we lost to them on penalties. And I think it's time that we turn it all around and we do it back to them. That's all I can say. Come on, England. Uh, Billy, make sure you get him that pint very, very soon indeed. I think he needs it. Um, Rasmus, Billy, great to see you both this morning. Uh, congratulations on an excellent tournament for both of you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, still to come.